Ryan. I'm Spencer. I'm Brendan. Brent. We are Panic at the Disco from Las Vegas. Sin City's very own Panic at the Disco burst onto the indie rock scene last year with their debut album, A Fever You Can't Sweat Out. Oh yeah, and it doesn't hurt that they were discovered by Pete Wentz from Fall Out Boy. Pete heard about our band from a link that Ryan had posted in uh, Fall Out Boy's live journal where we had posted a couple demos that we'd done in our practice plays. He rarely ever listens to them and, and he just happened to click on it that day expecting it to be some horrible band. But he said, he said that he listened to it and that he loved it. So he came down to Las Vegas and watched us play a couple songs in our practice place and offered to sign us on the way back to his hotel. So Impressing Pete was the easy part. Mom and Dad were the tougher sell. I did a semester at UNLV, uh, University of Las Vegas, and uh, things started happening with the band. Like we, we recorded some demos and we got signed. Finals came around and I just decided not to go. And I told my dad that I was gonna quit school and uh, we were gonna go write a record and tour. So that was a, not a very happy time in our house. Yeah, it was pretty rough in my house. Uh, coming from a, a really religious family and um, they really wanted me to pursue a mission for the church and uh, where I'd be gone for about two years. So I ended up leaving the church and they weren't too, they weren't too happy about that. I was rough for a while until uh, things started happening that now they're like our biggest fans, like the biggest supporters, so it's really cool. With a deal and support from the parents and Pete, the guys had to get down to work on an album, which was quite a learning experience. For the four months that we wrote the record, I think we changed more musically and the ideas that we wanted to try to go for because we had never had to had a deadline for writing songs and we had to write 14, 15 songs in a, in a few months. And uh, towards the, in the last few months, in the last half of writing and when we were recording the record too, we kind of got into using a lot of different instruments like piano. Uh, like cello, violin. None of us are trained for any of that stuff and it was kind of like learning as we were writing. And boy did they write. They penned some of the most interesting titles and lyrics around like I write sins not tragedies and there's a good reason these tables are numbered honey. You just haven't thought of it yet. Where did that come from? A lot of the song titles come from, um, a couple of them come from just lyrics that weren't used in the song or a couple like quotes from like authors or in movies and stuff. We just figured it was another uh, opportunity to like do something creative. If the song didn't have a good title, then it was like a part of the song that wasn't good. Their creativity and affinity for carnies is on display in their new video. We shot a video for I Write Sins Not Tragedies. It was a lot of fun. There's gonna be carnival people and um, wedding and there's dancing and flamethrowers and Stelts, stilts, and bearded women, mimes, mimes, midgets, and midget. All right, so what's next for the boys? We just finished a few headlining shows in Southern California, and we're on a little break right now, but we're going to the UK in the middle of January with the Academy Is, and then we're coming back at the beginning of February to start um, the Xbox tour with Academy Is, and that'll be everywhere. It's like two months and uh, then we're going to Japan and then we'll plan a headlining tour. So keep an eye out because it looks like Panic at the Disco will be playing soon on a stage near you.